and welcome again to Cottage Talk Full Time. I'm Russ Goldman, and this is our full time show of Fulham's 5 to 1 victory against Swansea City. Again, good times for Fulham Football Club. And uh, it was a, a difficult first half, as anyone that watched this match would know. But Fulham turned it on in the second half. The red card changes the match. But you know what? Good teams take advantage of their opportunities, and it was a red card. We'll talk about that. This is not going to be a long show. It's just myself here, Russ Goldman, and I'm just going to go through it. If you are watching live, please feel free to share your thoughts on who was man of the match. And on top of it, what was the best goal of the match? So I have two questions for you. Man of the match and best goal of the match. So please feel free to share that if you're watching live. I also want to mention to please do subscribe on our YouTube channel. We're trying to build this up. If you're watching on the YouTube channel and haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. We would love to have more subscribers to the YouTube channel. So I just want to mention that. Before we go on any further, I do want to wish a very happy birthday. Anyone watching or listening to the match knows it was Gentleman Jim's birthday. So happy birthday, Gentleman Jim. So I just want to share that. Happy birthday to Gentleman Jim. And I do also want to mention this, anyone that actually saw this on Twitter or on Facebook, some very sad news for me personally and for the Fulham community. This show is dedicated to the memory of Roger Lewis. Roger was listening and watching Cottage Talk from the very beginning. And this really hit me hard. Roger is just someone that I can truly say I I love Roger. And uh, I got the news On Monday, it happened over the weekend that Roger passed away. He was battling brain cancer, and uh, unfortunately, he lost the battle. But I'm sure Roger from above enjoyed this 5-1 to victory. And uh, I just want to just say to his wife, uh, Gloria, his uh, granddaughter, Ellie, I'm thinking of you and the entire Lewis family during this difficult period. And uh, I'll always be thinking of Roger, and uh, he means a lot to me. We've had a lot of loss. Claire lost her father, Paul Parrish. Now we've lost Roger Lewis. And of course, we, we lose people all the time. And uh, this one, along with Paul, really hit me hard. And uh, I'm still very sad about it. And I want to dedicate this show to the memory of Roger Lewis. So I just want to mention that. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. Let's start from the beginning. And I'll just mention this. Uh, when I saw that it was an unchanged side, I thought that was a good thing for Fulham. I thought, This is going to be a difficult match, but I'm glad that they went with a pretty strong side. And let's just say from the very beginning, as we talk about this match, first half, the better team had to be Swansea City. I want to give them a lot of credit. I thought they were the better team in the first half. Fulham were having a hard time getting the ball from them. But the one thing that I've noticed from Swansea City is that they are very good in possession, but do they have that cutting edge? Do they really trouble Fulham? They were dangerous at times, but they never really troubled them a few times, I should say. But overall, they really controlled the first half, so I want to give them full credit. Definitely full credit to Swansea City because they were the better side. That's my opinion. You can disagree with me, but I think most Fulham supporters can admit that Swansea City were the better team in the first half. But I will say, and anyone that questions this, just watch this if Swansea City supporters are questioning it. This is definitely a red card on the challenge on Harry Wilson. Straight red. Definitely straight red. I don't think there's any question about it if you watch it. Dangerous tackle. And he goes off. We're talking about Ryan Manning. You could just tell right off the bat that that was going to change the match and Fulham were better at the end of the half. But honestly, it really, you know, again, it was a a difficult first half for Fulham. And then as – You see the red card changes the match. Okay. So now let's transition. Let's talk about the second half. And from the get-go, it doesn't take long, guys. It doesn't take long. We have the goal from Mitro, which is set up beautifully from Harrison Reed and Harry Wilson, who I thought was excellent in this match. And Fulham go ahead 1-0. And you're thinking, okay, at this point, they're in control of the match. But again, I still felt even at 10 men, didn't feel comfortable because I thought Swansea City could really give Fulham some trouble if they got the ball. We saw a little bit about that in the second half. But then again, shortly after that, you have the own goal from Swansea City to make it 2-0. And at that point, feeling very comfortable. 
And honestly, Fulham deserved the 2-0 lead at this point. They really did. After that, you have the substitutions. You, again, have Bobby Decadover reed Ivan Cavallaro coming on, and Bobby Decadover reed scores to make a 3-0, but this is set up from a few people. We have to give Harry Wilson credit for really, with his header setting up Bobby Decadover reed Now it's 3-0. So now you're thinking, okay, it looks like we're in great shape, 3-0, and I felt very comfortable at that point. After that, well, again, off of a corner and play off of a corner, Swansea City pull one back to make it three to one. And uh, again, takes the gloss off of the victory a little bit because you want the clean sheet. But you know what? Right after that, it becomes the Nico Williams show. He scores two goals and the second goal was just incredible. I'm curious if that's, the goal of the match, the second goal, which made it 5-1. to one. But both goals, quality goals. And again, I keep saying this. I know people say, why would Liverpool sell him to us? Well, we now have done some business with Liverpool. I'm saying it right now. Make the deal for Nico Williams. They need to make a deal. They need to make Nico Williams a full player permanently. I don't know what they have to do. I don't know what the price is going to be. But Nico Williams is the real deal. He is totally the real deal. And Fulham, at this point, after the Nico's second goal, are comfortably ahead 5-1. to one. And really, you know, they see the match out, and this is how it all ends. I do want to mention some great news coming out of this match from the other teams around Fulham. There is now a 14-point gap from second and third place. We're not there yet, but Fulham are in great shape for automatic promotion. Do I want them to win the league? Absolutely. But thank you to Peterborough for getting a point against Bournemouth. And again, Bournemouth, I'm not saying they're in trouble because I think they're still going to get second. But only getting a point at home against Peterborough is not a good result for them. But let's just say Fulham deserved to win this match. And 5-1, to one, I think that's a fair result. You know, again, first half, really good for Swansea City. Second half, obviously, with a red card. All about foam. So coming up next, I'm going to ask everyone who was your man of the match and also what was the goal of the match? All right, guys. Just want to just share some comments. We have a lot of comments here from the foam supporters. And uh, and listen, I just want to thank everyone. Just subscribe. This is awesome, guys. Thank you for subscribing. I'm just going to share some more comments. And again, few comments about Roger. Giannis, thank you for saying that. Roger means a lot to me personally. In fact, I'll, I'll share this, that Roger actually messaged me and actually videoed with me from his hospital bed about three weeks ago. And uh, he said to me that he wanted to see a match with me and his granddaughter. And unfortunately, obviously, that didn't happen. And, uh, you know, and I actually, you know, and again, I was, you know, very touched by that offer from Roger. Roger was willing to, you know, pay for my hotel and have me, you know, pay for the tickets. You know, he wanted to do that with me, another match with him and his granddaughter. And uh, it, again, I'm just so touched by the offer from Roger. And I just feel terrible right now for him and his family, and I'm very sad about this. But Roger epitomized everything that Fulham was about, and this victory is for him. This victory is for Roger. So I just want to just say that. Okay, and I'm just getting some other mentions about Roger from State Turner. Rest in peace, Roger, and condolences to his family and friends for myself, and I know all the FFC family will join me with that. You are right about that. Some, some great stuff with that. Okay. And again, thank you for all the comments about Roger. I'm going to continue to uh, share this Nico man of the match condolences to Roger's family. Just really good stuff. And thank you everyone who's watching this. We got Royce and rest in peace, Roger. A lot of people, a lot of people talking about Roger. Sorry to hear about Roger. So if we're looking at man of the match, I'm going to go with Nico Williams. Nico Williams is man of the match. Let's see what Giannis has to say. Nico Williams. We got a lot saying Nico Williams, Nico, for man of the match. Both goals, great finishes. 
And definitely a red card. Yes, definitely a red card. There's no question about that. Let's see. I said, I'm sorry, Yana says, man of the match. Let's see. Andrew Sherman says, man of the match, Wilson. So we've got a lot of Nico Williams, and we have a, we have one for Harry Wilson. So that's great. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. I'm just going to keep sharing some comments. Net goal and man of the match. Can we ask to keep him on loan in the prem? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we could ask. But I actually want him permanently. That's that's what I want. Let's see, let's see what Wayne had to say. Swansea are a good team, but we were a better team in the second half. Wayne, you're 100% right about that. We were the better team. I want to share this comment from Giannis. Terrible challenge, Giannis. I completely agree with you. It was def- definitely a red card, as Roy said. Red card, 100%. Again, everyone, thank you so much for all of your comments, especially all of your comments about Roger. I really appreciate that. Let's see what Val has to say. Didn't see Matros, but a great win. And Mitro, another goal. And Nico, too. Great after his really good effort on Saturday that hit the crossbar. I know, I know it's crazy. Now he scores two goals. I'm telling you, when you see the second, you're going you're gonna to jump out of your seat there, Val. The second was really just a fantastic goal. Let's see what other comments we got. Daniel O'Connor, full and family living at Wells. Proud of Nico and looking forward to work tomorrow. I'm sure you are. Let's see. Joe James. Nico, man of the match. A lot of Nico. Everyone's going with Nico. So you turn Nico, Wrexham in Swansea tonight. You are right about that. we got a lot of Nico. And I know Giannis already said this, but man of the match. So great stuff. Fantastic stuff. Let's see what we else have here. Keep them coming. And I think I've already shared this. Man of the match has to be Wilson. It may end as a draw without drawing the red. And he continued to play great. Maybe, maybe. But you know what? Good teams find ways to win, and when you get an opportunity, you have to take advantage of it. Let's see what John Booker has to say. Nico is great, and second goal deserves man of the match. So I agree with that. Is that your goal of the match? If you're watching live, was the second goal from Nico Wooms the goal of the match? I'm curious your view on that. Oh, come on, Giannis. Giannis ha- has to do this for the eight day. Yeah, okay. Between you and Emilio with his uh, situation with Harrison Reed, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with the two of you on that. Let's just see what else we got. Well, we got some great comments. I want to thank everyone for commenting about the show, about everything. Just thank you, everyone. And uh, thank you for all your thoughts on Roger for him and his family because, uh, again, this hit me really hard. I, I learned about it yesterday. And uh, Roger was such a great man. and. Uh, I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss him. He used to contact me all the time about the show. And I don't know if he watched every show or listened to every show, but he watched and listened to a lot of them. So, Roger, you will be missed. Okay, let's see. Let's see what John Booker has to say. Best goal in the game was Nico, I would say the second one. Let's see what Ben has to say. Nico, minute of the match. Definite red card. Rest in peace, Roger. Guys, thank you, everyone, for your comments about Roger. And Steve Turner has to share this. Giannis, yeah. Giannis with his Floyd Ayute comments. We have to have Floyd Ayute comments. We, we, I can't go a show, Giannis, without Floyd Ayute comments. But I'm sure Roger uh, up in heaven is laughing a little bit with all your Floyd Ayute talk. I'm sure he actually got a little chuckle of that. So let's see. So good stuff. Good stuff. And i got to share this. I already talked about this. So let's talk about this as well. 14 points clear now, Scotty. That's true. Scott Parker's Bournemouth, they are far away right now. They're 14 points away. Now, again, they have a couple games in hand, but still 14 points is a lot of points. That's the gap right now. The gap is massive. The gap is huge. All right. Well, listen, I always intended this to be a very quick show, and I want to thank everyone who has watched this video and who will listen to the show. And one last time, just I want to wish a happy birthday to gentleman Jim one last time. Thank you all the foam supporters for your thoughts about Roger Lewis. And this is dedicated to the memory of Roger Lewis, who was a wonderful foam supporter and a wonderful human being. So I'm going to wrap this up. I'm Russ Goldman. Thank you as always for watching and listening to Cottage Talk. 